musician like you good man we're not pros either <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so awesome so i'll lead it out with give me a little bit of background on the band like how did you guys meet how you guys how long you been a band Take away. <laughs> me and nathan met each other after i graduated college and i was working in a coffee shop down in uh, palestine texas as we from texas all right sweet i was just in dallas for the week a little tiny town we're about two hours south of dallas so okay right on middle of nowhere but uh working at this little coffee shop and we got mutual friends and, uh, I invited him to play, and uh, he, he, he ended up coming with a couple of his buddies and uh, watched him set. And then after that, I, he invited me over to his house, so I came over and went and got a big bottle of whiskey and I brought my guitar. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Trying to make a good impression, you know. Sure. And then uh, uh, we ended up hitting it off. He had a drum kit set up in his living room, and he went to jam it. And I was like, this is cool, man. We're yeah. Start band. I, I'd always wanted to. And that, that was about what time frame, what year? That was uh, 2012. It was around oh, September man. 2012, so. You guys have only been a band for that long, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's well, impressive, we played, we I gotta say. Our first real, we played our first real show December 21st, 2012. So that's, wow, that's good for you guys. Hard. And you. and you, you said, I think you said it on stage, you started doing just covers initially? Yeah, we were playing a lot of covers and stuff. We didn't really, I mean, we had maybe like one or two originals. All right. The first show. Yeah, we we're played, up so. in South Bend, and it's just, there's a lot of great musicians, but it's all cover all bands. Covers. It's very tough. And if you're an original band, it's start, mostly man. metal, like heavy stuff. So uh, like, the original it's, band of Texas is mostly country. So. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. So, yeah, so you know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but yeah. Anyway, we started playing shows. Uh, I knew Ki from high school, and uh, I knew he played. But he played in a bunch of metal bands when we were in high school. Okay. And, uh, he actually played a pep rally one time. It was pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. So I knew he played guitar, and I invited him to come jam with us. We started jamming. And we started playing shows. Uh huh. We had a bass player of ours uh, that kind of left the band. Um, Chris Davis. Um, uh, he left the band and he started a family. I mean, yeah, uh, it's understandable. So, uh, got a little precious baby girl now. She just uh, turned one years old. Hey, how about that. Uh, we're still good friends. We still mess with him all the time. But, uh, <laughs> right on. We, we stole Keeper so from then, his band. Yeah, we stole yeah. Keeper from his band. And then uh, Cat was running sound at a local venue in uh, Tyler, Texas. And I had another band, so they stole me from that. Yeah, we broke band. up a lot well, of well, that's, that's usually how it works, well, yeah, you know. You kind of. You know, you got to recruit for your for your bands, like like forming a ball team. Oh, exactly. You got to you got to recruit the talent. I was actually exactly. playing guitar at first because Ki so moved then. to Nashville, and then when he moved back, I just moved over to bass. Yeah, yep. So yeah, yeah. So, kind so of it worked out. Room, it worked, yeah. out. It worked yeah. out. It yeah. worked yeah. out. It's phenomenal. That's Thank great. You. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because like I said, I'm a new fan. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Burning the ships. Yeah. Is that your debut yeah. album then? Full uh, length album. It's our second full Okay. Yeah. So you have an album before that. Tell me about that. We released an album in 2000. 13, I think. Yeah, 13. Okay. Uh, called I Am. Uh, it was our first uh, first time in the studio. Uh, huh? We met with our producer uh, Philip Mosley. He's a guy from my hometown. Uh, okay. He's a genius. Diamond in the rough. Don't quote me as saying he's a genius. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, right on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we cut that record in a week, and uh, that was kind of our first time in the studio. So we're really. Wow. Green and fresh. And shit. Sure, and then, sure. And then, uh, the studio can be intimidating. I, mean, oh, yeah. I, I love studio oh, yeah. stuff, but it can be it can be, it can be daunting, yeah. and it's expensive. You know, unless yeah. you find a guy or have a hookup, yeah. it can be. Yeah, it can well, cost a lot of actually, money. Uh, we recorded in uh, Rosewood Studios in Tyler, which is just really nice. Uh, it's where uh, Leanne Rimes cut some of her wow. stuff. Wow, very cool. And, uh, so very cool. That's, is that is that in the local, footage of the the Dream On video? Is that in that studio? No, or is no. that, that studio is actually uh, it's called Audio Works. It's a little studio in uh, Palestine where we live. And, okay. Uh, it's in uh, a good friend of ours, uh, Pasture, uh, and he just lets us rehearse there. Music oh yeah. And kinda, great kinda great video, by the way. Yeah, yeah, great video. Great so, song. So uh, we cut all our demos and stuff for the second album, and uh, uh, which took us about a year and a half, and we put all that together, and then we went in and recorded over a couple months, and we got to record with uh, Jimmy Johnson from. Swampers, yeah, and uh, his engineer uh, Steve Melton. Who, uh, wow, uh, we recorded a couple, we recorded two songs with Jimmy at Fame Studios down in Muscle Shoals, okay, um, including our single Where the Wind Blows, which is on the radio right now, and that's the one. And uh, then uh, Alabama. Steve, we hit oh, it off, yeah. yeah, we hit it off with you guys Steve. Crimson, you, know, you gotta be Longhorn fans. Uh, yeah. he's, he's, from, he's, from, he's, he's from Alabama, so he's, a, he's a Alabama. I'm a Buckeye, I'm a Buckeye. So. I probably should have waited till the end to tell you that. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Oh, uh, we hit it off with Steve that day, and he ended up engineering the rest of our, our second album. So, um, we recorded that at Sound Emporium in Nashville. So, that's a just as a good time. straight up music fan, that album crushes. Thank you. Thank you so it just much, sounds man. so good, man. Hell yeah. I mean, it's it's in the queue. I'm, I jammed it all the way here, Hell so yeah. I can at least you know. Yeah. Yeah. Great, oh, yeah. great stuff. The title track, especially. What's your favorite? What's your favorite one to, favorite to play one? or sing? Uh, the favorite one to play is Pyromaniac. That last one we did tonight. That's. Uh, I like yeah. that one. Pyro, yeah, that is. That one's the hook. one that throws out my neck at the end. Of the night. <laughs> yeah. I like the riff in uh, "Burning the Ships." Oh the, yeah. The title track. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, yeah. just sticks. They're all great. All great he songs. He wrote that there. Yeah. Uh, he does some. You know, blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Shut up. We actually wrote the verse part first, like yeah. it was a jam. Okay. And then he was like, you know, I had this riff. Maybe we could start up the song with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right on. Do you yeah. normally do that? Do you like set a little time aside and I'm spilling my jam? No, you good. Like, do you start like just jamming to loosen up and then things become songs? Is that yeah. how the kind Pretty of much. Yeah, that's a lot right on. of how our songs are written. You just I'd say about 70%. 70%. You go, ah, do you record all your rehearsals? Do you have something rolling all the time? Like a phone or a Zoom if we, or if we, something? If something pops out, we'll, we'll get the phone out yeah, and yeah. hit and the get laid down. We right on. remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we I hit feel the you. phone, yeah. yeah. And we bother Phil until he lets us. Well, Phil's the only one that can run the studio out there. Sure. You know? No, we don't know how to work. <laughs> We're <laughs> like a monkey trying to find a rocket ship. Yeah. But Right on. Uh, so we bother him until he lets us go record an actual demo. Once but, you get it, once yeah. you got something, you think, <laughs> like, right, oh, we got to yeah. put this down. Yeah. Right. right, I feel you. That's cool. So I guess just to wrap up, you got you burn the ships, burn the ships, excuse me, and yeah. it's out iTunes, oh, yeah. all Everywhere. the digital outlets, Everywhere. CD Everywhere. stores. It's not, in, it's not in stores yet. We're, okay. we're actually hopefully going to work you that out someday. When was the actual release date on that? March 10th of this year. March 10th. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And uh, and then, so you're on a tour with Shaman's Harvest, and when is that? Uh, actually, actually not. This we're is the one we're not we're playing with. Yeah. Okay, we are, yeah. well that's good to know. Yeah, yeah we're on a own tour. How lucky am I, because right. I'm a huge fan of your band, awesome. so that's yeah. awesome. This is our first national tour. We're actually going around and playing free shows uh, for all the radio stations that are playing our uh, stuff right now. Yep. It's been in our track, because um, they helped us get it up. Uh, we're an independent band. We have our own record label that we started. Uh, right. Good for you. Come on, record. Good for you. And uh, we're going around playing... Uh, for all these radio stations that help us get uh, up on billboard and stuff, so that, that's amazing for us. Yeah, no, yeah. that's awesome. Like the that's bear, awesome. The Bears been playing us, so that's how we got. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. We're huge fans of Shaman's Harvest, so this well, is. Well, I won't keep you anymore. I'll just. No, we're good. No, thanks. You're fine. Thank you for the I'll, interview. Hey, yeah. thank you. No, I guess you lose your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.